Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn one more concept in frame of motion and it is one of the type of gesture animation. So in the previous video, if you remember, we did two types of gesture animation. One was uh, when you are tapping something or when let's say you are hovering over something, right? So we were animating a button in previous video. Uh, we had this button and when we were hovering over it, uh, we were having some animation, right? And when we used to tap on it, you see some kind of animation was happening, right? So in this video, we are going to uh, try one more gesture, which will be uh, this one, like when you are trying to drag something, right? So we will complete uh, this while drag today. Let me try to search it where it is available. Yeah. So first of all, you can make any element draggable by just setting this property, uh, you know, drag inside a division or any component in react, right? So let's try one example for this. What you can do is you can uh, go in your react project. Uh, let's create one component over here. Let's give it name draggable div, right? Uh, sorry, it'll be, it'll not be a folder. It'll be a file. You can give it name draggable dev dot JSX. And now you can press RFCE. It'll give you a simple a react template in app.jsx uh, let's use this um, we, we can do one thing let's uh, uncomment sorry let's comment uh, these two as well we will only show the draggable uh, dev only let me save it so yeah you will be able to see the draggable dev so let's create a small uh, dev over here in this uh, let me close all the editors yeah so let me give some tailwind classes to it you can write uh, width 44, height 44, uh, rounded full BG white. Let's see. And let's give some margin to it as well. And let me write it MX auto. Great. So what we will do is we will make it draggable. Currently you see when I uh, drag it by selecting it's not dragging, right? So let's first of all import frame a motion you can write import motion from uh, frame a motion and uh, below uh, sorry before this div you can use motion dot and here as well you can write motion dot and to make this draggable what we can do is we can just simply write drag that's it now you see we can drag this uh, by you know selecting this component and you know dragging it we are basically able to drag it anywhere here right so that was the first property in frame a motion uh, like you can just simply use drag and this whole division will become draggable, right? Uh, now we have another properties here inside as well. You can also check out in the documentation. Uh, like here you can see inside drag, like we can provide uh, in which direction we basically want to drag it. Like either you can mention it as X or either you can mention it as Y. So let's say I mentioned it as Y. So what will happen is you will be only able to drag it vertically, not horizontally. As you can see, I'm dragging it horizontally, but it's not happening. It's happening because of this. Now, if I write X over here, it will be only draggable in the horizontal position. You will not be able to drag it vertically. As you can see, I'm trying to drag it vertically, but not able to, right? But if you want to drag it in both direction, you can just simply uh, just write drag. That's it, okay? Uh, let's try one more property. Now let's say you want some animation when this uh, div is dragging. Right now when you're dragging, nothing is happening, right? Uh, no animation is there. Let's say you want some animation. So here one example is uh, written. Let's try this. So basically what they're doing is they're saying when this is in drag motion, they are basically scaling it to 1.2 times. Let's see. So when I'm dragging it, you see it's scaling up, right? As you can see, yeah. Uh, let's try to add one more animation over here. You can write, let's say I want to change this background color to, let's say, which color? Let me see some colors over here. Okay. Let's say I want it to change to maybe deep sky blue. So as you can see, when I'm uh, dragging it, it's uh, two CSS properties are getting changed. First is that it's scaling up and second, the background color is getting changed, right? So in this way, you can uh, have the drag animation by using this while drag helper and inside it, you can uh, mention as many CSS properties you want to animate, right? 
yeah uh, let's see some more details uh, here okay so we have one more thing as well like drag constraints so inside drag constraints uh, you can give uh, the constraints for a dragging right so currently you see when we are dragging it there are no limits to it like it can also go outside the window as well or outside the dom you can say right it does not have any constraints so what you can do is you can have some constraints you can write drag constraints and then uh, inside it you can give property like uh, maybe to left it should only go to maybe minus 100 uh, to the right it should maybe only go to 400 uh, top again as well you can write maybe to minus 100 and bottom 200 sorry uh, 400 let's see now let me refresh it so as you can see uh, like after this I can't uh, basically after 400 position I'm not able to drag it further similarly in in the left hand side it's minus 100 and in the right side you see uh, I'm not able to make it go outside 400 position right so in this way you can use drag constraints to you know make it limited to a particular uh, distance right so this was about the drag constraints let's see what is the another property you can also use drag uh, snap to origin so basically what will happen uh, using this is let's try it I mean it's pretty straightforward as you can read it from the name what will happen is like it will basically snap to origin when you uh, release the component right I think so let's see so you can write drag snap to origin equal to I think true will uh, it should work I guess or maybe I think we have to write like this uh, let's see so when I'm dragging it uh, let's see so when I'm dragging it you see it's uh, going back to its position wherever its origin was like let's say I release this uh, dev over here right you can see it's going back to wherever it was right yeah but it's uh, in some position it's not happening maybe it's a framer glitch I don't know we'll have to report it in their repository but yeah in most of the cases as you can see when I'm releasing it it's going back right so that's what drag snap to region does now we have drag elastic as well the degree of movement uh, allowed outside constraints okay great so let's see let's try to use it so it will only work when you have uh, the drag constraints so basically they are saying outside constraints how much degree of movement uh, movement you want like currently if we see it's not going further minus 100 i believe right minus 100 is up to here but it's not going further but with using drag elastic i believe uh, it will be allowed to a certain degree to go outside the boundary that's what it's saying so let's use it so if I try to let me refresh it so if I try to yeah uh, you can see the difference I believe I mean uh, as soon as it's uh, reaching the boundary there is this uh, moment which is getting reduced okay I mean you'll have to try it uh, I would suggest you to try this example then you'll uh, know in more detail because currently in the video you might not be able to see the difference that I'm talking about right so yeah other properties are also there which you can try out like uh, the drag momentum uh, it's saying that it will apply momentum from the pan gesture to the component when dragging finishes right and then we have drag transition let's try this one so what it's doing is like when releasing a draggable frame an animation with type inertia starts okay so I believe uh, basically what happens is like when we release it uh, then what kind of animation we want that this property will define I guess let me just copy it and see what happens uh, we can write here as well so as you can see what I'm uh, writing is like uh, bounce stiffness should be 600 and bounce damping should be 10 so basically some kind of bouncy effect will happen when I release the dev yeah as you can see when I release it the bouncy kind of animation is happening right yeah so it's looking pretty cool I believe yeah I mean it depends upon the kind of speed which we with, with which you're dragging like if you drag it very slow then obviously animation will happen very slow in some cases yeah it's not working that smooth but yeah as you can see uh, when we are animating or when like the, the speed with which we are basically dragging it 
the bouncy effect is happening with that speed right so that's what drag transition is doing then we have drag propagation allow drag gesture propagation to child component okay although we don't have any uh, children inside this div right now you see we only have a circle div right but we don't have any inner circle or inner components or any text inside it so basically this track propagation will be uh, you know useful for that if you want to have you know drag uh, to go to your child components as well so you can try that as well what you can do is you can have some you know text inside it or maybe we can um, let's let's try this let's say i want one uh, i have an h2 over here which says circle right great uh, i think uh, let me do one thing we can have uh, i mean uh, we don't have to give it here what you can do is you can write it as flex justify center and you can also have flex uh, call item center let's see it should be in the center right now as you can see this uh, children is also getting dragged along with this right and allow drag gesture propagation to child component okay let me use it uh, because they are saying that by default it's false so that means uh, although i'm not seeing a difference but still mm, okay uh, i don't see any difference but yeah let me know in the comments if you uh, you know figure out what exactly this does because as far as my understanding what it is doing is like it will allow to have drag uh, inside the children element as well although it's happening by default so i'm not sure uh, then we have drag controls as well so usually dragging is initiated by pressing down a component and moving it for some use cases for instance clicking it and uh, at an arbitrary point on a video we might want to initiate dragging from a different component than the draggable one Mm, great i think what they're uh, trying to say is uh, like this track control will uh, help you to uh, basically change the controls like currently what happens is uh, you are able to drag this by selecting this div and then dragging it right but in some cases let's say i want let's say let's say if i click on this uh, div then i want this uh, particular div to drag right or maybe as you can see here uh, they are defining one function and they are saying that drag should start when snap to cursor becomes true right so yeah i mean there can be a lot of cases so basically they're changing the control or basically you can say they're basically changing the initial uh, phase like you do something and then basically drag happens right mm, you can try this one example i guess so yeah we have some functions as well like on drag start and on drag end and inside this you can basically call one function and do whatever you want with that you can also access the point as well by using this uh, info parameter which you get in the function by writing info.point.x and info.point.y i mean you can do whatever you want to do with that x and y position great so yeah that was all for this video and uh, we did a lot of things in it like first of all we made this component draggable and we also did this uh, snap to origin like when we release it it goes back and then we have this bouncy animation and we have drag constraint as well like you can't drag it outside the boundary which we have set right so that was also cool great so yeah it was fun uh, learning this and building this so yeah i hope you learned something uh, from this video and uh, in the next video we will um, learn this concept which is variance so basically it allows you to create uh, some kind of a uh, block like this where you can uh, mention different types of variants uh, basically variants will be a block with some fixed defined sets of animation which you want in some cases right so basically you can have a visible variant a hidden variant and you can have another variants as well inside it and you can use it uh, you know just like this uh, i mean we will see that in later uh, in the upcoming video like how you can use it we have this uh, example as well uh, as well you can see when we click on this uh, it is having a beautiful animation and opening a uh, good like beautiful navigation or menu you can say so we'll try this example in the next video and we'll um, or probably make something else as well let's see we'll see that so yeah see you in the next video thank you for watching this video uh, do share subscribe